Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, fellow siblings in Christ. Hope all is well with each and every single one of you guys. I'm a little sleepy. I'm a little tired, you guys. And I know I'm very late with the encouraging word. I believe it's my turn. If it's not, somebody correct me. <laughs> but I wanted to encourage y'all with this. I've been dealing with this lately for the last couple of days. I'm trying to turn this down while I got Jesus Ministries music going. Um, for the last couple of days, I've been dealing with people who's been all in their feelings. <laughs> Mainly because the things I was sharing and the things that I was posting... There were folks that was upset because their flesh was getting enraged. Like when I shared a post that said, and it was it was somebody else that posted it. I'm trying to remember how it was put. African spirituality or African, I believe that's what it was called. African spirituality is a cute word for worshiping Satan. I've been getting inboxes left and right. I've been getting people hitting me up left and right, trying to get at me because I dared to speak against African spirituality instead of affirming them. Even somebody who I knew from a while back telling me that the white man, oh gosh, here we go, the white man went to Africa and stole things and warped things and basically saying that the Africans was corrupted or something to that degree. Another person getting upset because I had a post where it was addressing basically lukewarmness. Saying, yeah, I love Jesus, but you're cussing, you're smoking, you're drinking. This one person saying, well, how do you define cursing? And just went on this tangent against me. Even speaking slanderous things against me. And I didn't get upset because I remember Matthew 5. Glorifying the Lord when they do stuff like this to you. And so the intention of me saying these things was this. You know you're on the right track and you want to follow the Lord when the lukewarm, the world, those who are in love with their flesh, those who are in love with their skin tone, those who are in love with the affairs of this life are coming at you. Pray for them. Pray for their salvation. Keep giving them the word as long as the Lord can tell you to give it to them. Dust your feet and go on to the next city when the Lord tells you to move on. But don't get discouraged. After all, you're only a threat to the devil when you serve God correctly. Being fully dedicated to his will. Being dedicated to the word. Seeking him in spirit, in spirit and in truth. So the devil's going to throw everything at you. He's going to throw everything at you. To throw you off. And to make you feel like it's worthless. Make you feel like it's a waste of time. Nah, man. Keep going. Keep going. In Jesus' name. Let the devil be ticked off. You keep going in Christ. You keep sharing his word. Let Jesus be glorified in all that you do. In everything that you do, seek the Lord. Praise the Lord. Make it all about Jesus. Jesus over everything. And if the world get upset, look at it like this. The Israelites, the Israelites <laughs> was so thinking they were going right. But in the, end, in the end, they chose barbarous over Jesus. And yet Jesus was still right. And still had mercy in his heart. Right? After he said, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabbatani. Father, Father, why have you forsaken me? He still said, Forgot, forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. It is finished. Mercy and joy and peace in his heart. Knowing that he was doing his father's will. Even if it cost him his life. By the way, those times are coming. There's some of us that will die. And I'm not trying to speak that over everybody. I'm just saying that's the word of God. There's going to be some that's going to die because they want Jesus. There's going to be some that face beheadment, being killed, something because they want God. There's going to be a few that's going to escape, don't get me wrong, but there's going to be many that's going to suffer, be tormented, be tortured, be killed for the faith of the Lord. Give God glory anyway. Knowing that Jesus gave himself on the cross for you. Can you endure the mockery, the pain, the everlasting suffering that the devil keeps trying to throw at you? Can you endure it to the end? Knowing that the reward is eternal salvation. Knowing that the reward is Jesus Christ. Knowing that the reward is the new heaven and new earth. Knowing that the reward is being joint heirs in Christ. Because the word of God says, He 
Everybody say it with me. He that endureth until the end shall be saved. Give glory to God. Because Jesus indeed is coming. Get ready. Get ready. Jesus, we don't know the day or the time. But indeed, Jesus Christ is coming. Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ, the King of kings and Lord of hosts, is coming. Are you ready? God bless.